So today we're joined by Justin Crosley from The Brewing Network, and he's been a good friend for several years. And if you're not familiar with The Brewing Network, you should really check it out. It's a series of podcasts started as homebrewing only, and they've grown from there. So really cool guy, knows a ton about brewing, and just is really good on the camera. Way better than me, so you guys all appreciate him. We're here today in our Concord retail store, joined by Justin from The Brewing Network. Thanks for having me. I love this place. Well, I got a phone call a couple weeks ago uh, from Justin, who's been shopping here at the store. Yeah, I came here for some gear I needed for my bar, the Hop Grenade, um, and I got really excited about some equipment I saw, so I called Chris. He's like, this is for my personal stuff, and I got all excited because I'm like, Justin hasn't brewed in a long time. <laughs> I gave him my old brew system. He gave that away to someone else. I did. And I uh, never used it or once or twice. <laughs> so anyway, I got excited, drove down, met him here, and then the first thing he's pointing out is a kegerator. I wanted a new kegerator, not actually still brewing my own beer. Well, he owns a bar. So he has access to a ton of great beer and it's all in kegs. Yeah. And it's all in Sankey kegs. Right. And and so the deal was I have like an old kegerator at my house and it's a true, you know, so it's good. It's a, it'll probably live forever, um, longer than me at least, but it's loud and clunky and heavy. And when I came in and saw these, they're lightweight, they're quiet. And more importantly, they're super easy to use. So I got excited for it, not for my house, but for my RV. <laughs> of course, we need to put one in an RV. Yeah. <laughs> and Justin and I have been doing this a long time, and things have changed, uh, especially draft. This is what we both have in our traditional setups. A uh, typical gas manifold will take, and, and same on the beer side. You're taking a hose, putting it on, yeah. using a hose clamp, and yeah. praying that it holds properly. Right. And most of the time it does, and when it works, it works forever. Yeah. Uh, and when it doesn't, it's catastrophic because it's always Thanksgiving. Or it's always the day everything's closed and yeah. you're out of gas. Yeah. But long story short, we've replaced a lot of this with these new duo tights. That same rig can be built for pennies almost, just using simple tees. But let's talk about the fact that you're using commercial kegs yeah. and most of us are using homebrew and you might want to do both. I would like to switch back and forth and that's part of the what really turned me on to these is how easy this duo type is to use. Yeah, so we'll take a traditional Eva Barrier line and you know, you want to hook up your Sankey tap. We got the Sankey tap itself, duo fitting that fits right on top. This is an eight millimeter, clicks right in. Once it's in, it just holds. And that's just crazy. And it doesn't leak gas or beer, which is amazing. Then <laughs> it does pop right out. It does pop right out. But now I'm literally switching to a, you know, a traditional uh, QD fitting with a duo tight fitting on there. And then we just click it right in. And again, we're done. We just switched from Sankey to homebrew in less than a minute, which used to take <laughs> us a bunch of fittings, some gaskets that I couldn't find. Yeah. Those little white gaskets, again, it'd be of... Thanksgiving morning, oh, I want to serve beer, but let's do homebrew. Oh, where's that fitting? Oh, no. Yeah. Long story short, he saw that. So we came in. I've done a video years ago that was a terrible video, not that I'm much better now, but <laughs> uh, at least showed the functionality of it, and I think you saw that. Yeah, so I saw these in the showroom, j just the setup, and, and it's they're just, they're pretty. Um, the size, uh, it's there's more room inside than I have in my commercial true. You can fit um, three commercial five gallon kegs, one full half barrel, or for homebrew, uh, you can fit four of the slimline uh, torpedo kegs. So I got all fired up about that part of it, but then, yeah, I just, I really saw these fittings and going, oh, that's gonna change my life because I'm so lazy with my other kegerator. Well, the, it, that's one thing too, is like, if you had all these adapter fittings, trying to fit all that in here would just be a nightmare. Yeah. So this just makes it clean, tight, easy. Yep. And uh, by the way, we're gonna have to come visit this RV yep. um, to see how this is in action and have a pint or two. Of course, I'm happy to have you and I'm really proud of it. It fits uh, perfectly. Like I said, it's lightweight, it's quiet. It doesn't give off a lot of heat. All the things, if any of you are in an RV, you kind of know you couldn't just put a, keg, a commercial kegerator in there. So uh, I had high hopes. I went on a two week trip, flawless. It worked perfect, everything I hoped for. And it didn't drain your battery in one hour? No, nope. in fact, it barely used my battery any more than, than normal. That's amazing. Yeah, so I'm, I'm in love with it, I think it's great. 
Cool. Well, thanks for coming out to the Concord Showroom and talking about it with me. Thanks for having me, and thanks for that stuff. Looking forward to future videos with you. Me too. Well, this week's free beer kit of the week is Pale 31 by Firestone Brewing, which unfortunately they no longer make. No, I think they stopped making it about four years ago. It's probably my all-time favorite pale ale. Um, and you know, the IPA world just takes over sometimes. But I did get to brew it with them a couple of times and homebrew it with brewmaster Matt Brennelson. So we made a DVD of that process to go with the kit. He even has tips on how to make it better. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna give away both a couple of free kits and a couple of free DVDs. So to enter, Head on down to morebeer.com forward slash free beer Friday and enter our weekly giveaway. Quick reminder, don't forget to enter our monthly giveaway, which happens to be torpedo kegs. Go to morebeer.com forward slash free beer Friday and enter the monthly giveaway. Thanks for watching. See you next Friday. Cheers.